what do you think is the biggest challenge for your team to uh, overcome to rebound tomorrow? Uh, I don't, our challenge is to win a game. You know, we won eight in a row. We're, we know we're a good team. We have a lot of the same pieces. We've lost a couple guys, you know, who are big parts of our team. We've added a couple guys who are big parts of our team. So honestly, like the sum should be zero and we should be able to go forward and uh, play our game. I just, I see, you know, a little bit of hesitation on our part and, and guys just being, um, you know, just maybe a little intimidated by this level still. And, and, you know, we have to have everybody show up for a 60 minute effort. That's what it's going to take to win. Right. And speaking to somebody who's been around this level for quite a while now, um, how important do you think it is for some of these young players who are just coming into the league to sort of experience these highs and lows of the way that this league works yeah. sort of in quick. I think season. after experiencing the highs of an eight game win streak, they never even anticipated that there could be lows that are similar. So um, I'd say it's a, it's a struggle for everybody mentally right now and physically to dig deeper and find a little more out of themselves. And um, it'll make us better hockey players in the end. You don't like going through stretches like this and you don't want to have to, you know, be clawing for your first one in seven games, but it's going to take a hundred percent out of everybody. And that's, uh, as I said, it'll only make us better. Right. And um, my final one for you would be uh, just looking at the season as a whole uh, to this point, because I haven't spoken to you just yet. So I'm curious to hear what you gleaned out of um, playing in, in a tandem with some of the younger prospects in goal, like Dustin Wolf and Artem Zagadulin to this point. Well, I, I loved playing with Wolfie. It's always a good time playing with Zaggy too. I think we have good chemistry in the sense that we're supportive of each other and it's not a, it's not a weird dynamic. Um, you know, I, I would say that I've played probably less than the NHL contracted guys um, and that's okay. Like I know what I'm here for. I'm going to still play games and when I'm playing, I'm going to play as hard as I can and try and win games. So it's not about like volume of starts for me this year. It's definitely more about the quality of uh, how I play when I get my opportunities. So honestly, handing over starts to guys like Zaggy and, and Wolfie, like they deserve it too. And they need the opportunity to prove themselves at this level. So I think it's been great. Um, you know, obviously there's been a lot of kind of media coverage of the relationship that me and Wolfie were able to build, but um, you know, it's not like I'm just picking favorites with him. Um, we just, we're just very similar people, you know, similar upbringing in, in hockey and similar passion for it. We're both American. So, um, you know, there's obviously more of a connection there, but Zaggy's a funny kid and he's a talented goalie and it's fun to watch him play too. So I'm fortunate to have good partners this year and playing with Louis last week was great. I'm happy he's back at the NHL level. Um, but he needed to play too. He hadn't played all year. So it was important that he was able to get some starts here too. Thank you, Garrett. Go ahead, Paige. Um, so Garrett, uh, last game, when you guys played Belleville, you faced 38 shots, another 34 today. Um, do you, does this help you kind of anticipate some of the moves the shooters have and gives you kind of a better understanding of what you could expect there? Uh, I mean, I just prefer higher volume shot games. It keeps you more engaged and uh, gives you more of an opportunity to impact the game. I feel like um, I just, I got to make, I got to make these breakaway saves. These guys are slipping on five hole and it's, you know, it's just, it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. Like you would think after seven, eight years pro, I'd figure that out, but um I have a solution and I'm definitely going to work on it. And I think that if I'm able to eliminate goals like that from my game, like I'm that much harder to beat. So um, it's just a trend that I've noticed and something that I want to work on personally. I think it could change games for us. For sure. And then being that you've played in this Canadian league, um, whereas some of your teammates haven't seen any of these teams, have you found that you've kind of been a source for information for them too and kind of what to expect? Uh, yeah, I mean, the turnover rate of the AHL is so high that a lot of the teams, you know, this team is very, very different from the Belleville Senators I've played in the past and playing at the Canadian Tire Center is definitely different than playing at the Yardman Arena. So, um, you know, it's, it's been an enjoyable year in the sense that, uh, you know, we've had good competition and 
uh, it's been a good measuring stick for us all the way through. It's just at this point, we're not, we're not measuring up against these teams right now. And we need to find more out of ourselves if we want to be successful.